All right, count to five silently and then go ahead and start. Hi guys, my name is Elizabeth. I am the young athlete intern um, working for Dylan Mayfield. And today I'm going to do some stretching with you. We're gonna talk about some soccer skills, um, basics that you'll use um, further into um, other games. And then at the end, we'll do some animal run and then do the young athlete cheer. Um, and then I will kind of check the chat periodically, seeing if anyone has any questions or concerns. So if you do, don't be afraid to ask. Um, my cousin Bridget is here with me today to help me um, demonstrate some of the soccer skills. Um, but first, what we're going to do is we're kind of going to warm up and stretch. Um, as you can see, I'm outside in my backyard. So I have my yoga mat with me so my, um, my clothes don't get all dirty. If you are inside joining me, you don't need a yoga mat or any kind of mat, but you're always welcome to use one. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna start sitting and we're going to sit and reach to touch our toes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of sit down and just stretch and reach and you're gonna count to 10 and hold that for 10. And once you get to 10, we'll take a break. All right, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you're gonna let go. And we'll do it one more time, just to make sure we're all nice and stretched out before we play soccer. So we'll do each stretch two times, just to make sure that we're nice and stretched. So let's do it again and count to 10 with me. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job. And the next one we're gonna do is called butterflies. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put both of your feet together, just like this, and then you're gonna hold your toes and push your knees down as far as you can. You can do it with your elbows, or if you need to push your Use your hands to push down, but you're gonna do a butterfly and you're gonna sit there and you're gonna count to 10 just like before. Ready? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, take a break. Kind of shake your legs out a little bit. All right, let's do it again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and to shake them out a little bit. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stand up on our feet. Go be on. All right, so we're gonna stand up. All right, no, 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 there you go. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your leg and pull it all the way up so your heel touches your booty. All right, we're gonna do this and we're gonna count to 10. All right, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, shake that right leg out. And you're gonna go ahead and do it on your left leg this time. It's okay to wobble. No need to be perfect. All right, ready? Let's count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, shake that leg out a little bit. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do arm circles. So you're gonna stick your arms all the way out as far as you can. And we're gonna do arm circles for 10 seconds. All right, ready? One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job. And the last one we're gonna do is toe touches. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold yourself in half and you're gonna touch your toes. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, stand up, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And we're gonna do it one more time. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, stand up, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. All right, good job, everybody. So, what we're going to do now is if you're inside or outside with me, um, you're going to need a soccer ball. Um, and if you have a brother, sister, mom, dad that wants to practice with you or play with you, um, it's definitely going to help a lot to have another person. Or if you have a soccer goal or a net or some of some, some kind, that'll be super helpful. Um, but what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to uh, kick a soccer ball, how to stop, and then how to dribble. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a soccer net, so I can't show you how to shoot, but it's, I can explain it a little bit. Um, but that's what we're going to do today. So if you want to move out of, move a few things out of the way, I'm going to put my yoga mat behind the camera and my cousin Bridget and I are going to show you guys how to do some soccer skills. All right, so what you guys are gonna do is, as you can see, we've got our soccer ball. And what, so what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna pass it to Bridget and she's gonna stop it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the inside of my foot and I'm gonna kick it to Bridget. So what I'm gonna do, kick it with the inside of my foot right here and make sure that it gets that soccer ball to Bridget. And now she's gonna kick it back to me, just like that. And I'm gonna stop it. So how you stop a soccer ball is when it's coming towards you, you're gonna put your foot right on top of it and you're gonna make sure that you trap that soccer ball between the ground and your foot. So we'll do it again. I'm gonna kick it to Bridget, she'll stop it and we'll do that a couple times. And then you guys can practice at home while we're doing this, okay? All right, so that's how you pass and stop. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna dribble the soccer ball. And how you dribble a soccer ball is a little different than just kicking it, um, just passing it. So when you dribble a soccer ball, you want to use the top of your foot. So like where your shoelaces are. So right here, and you're gonna use that soccer ball and you're gonna drip, make small movements with your foot. And you're gonna use both feet. So you're gonna alternate between your right and your left foot to keep control. And then you're gonna just pass it off at the end. Good job. And then you stop it and then you can do it back to whoever you're playing with. And then you just do that a couple times and work on passing and stopping and alternate between passing, stopping and dribbling and stopping. Good job. And we're gonna do this a couple more times just so you guys get kind of an idea. 
of how to dribble and pass. And um, yeah. All right, so what we're gonna do now is now that you see some stretching, we've done some stretching and we've done some passing and stopping. Um, right now, what we're gonna do is at this time, if you have like a soccer net or soccer goal, I encourage you to practice doing some shooting. Um, right now, I don't have a soccer net, so I can't properly show you, demonstrate that, but um, that's definitely something that I would if I could. Um, but right now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna do a little bit of animal run, which is what we do during our programs. Um, so animal run is um, kind of a fun game that we like to play with our athletes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna demonstrate a couple animals and then what you would do is you would run like that animal. Um, so we'll do that right now. Um, so what we do is we'll typically walk like a crab. So um, how to walk like a crab would be just like this. So you'd kind of bend down a little, get your pinchers out, and then you kind of walk sideways like this. And you can go back and you walk like a crab. Another one that we like to do is an elephant. So um, if you want to do that, an elephant would be, you know, you stomp your big feet and wiggle your big trunk. Um, that's one by me. <laughs> so you stomp your feet and wiggle your trunk. Oh, I just got stuck my feet. <laughs> um, another one that we like to do is a flamingo. Um, so walking like a flamingo, you're going to put one foot up, kind of put your hands on your hips and walk a little bit, put your other foot up and you stand like a flamingo. Um, um, let's see. Another good one we use is a penguin. So you kind of waddle your feet together and then you waddle, waddle, waddle. Just like this. You put your feet together like so. And you'll bend and waddle, 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 waddle. Like a penguin. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah. now to end. So do, what, what, do you have any questions? Would a bird would be good. A bug? A bird, like, like oh my. Yeah. Yeah. That is a good one. You're right. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Any no. Would a bird would be good. A bug? Bird. A bird. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do to end yeah. is we're going to do um, a couple more stretches. We're going to do some yoga poses. Um, and then we're going to do the young athlete song that we do at the end of right. so our programs. Do you might like to participate. If you want to participate, you're welcome to. It's really fun. I'll do it once and then you can do it with me. How does that sound? All right. So we're gonna do a few yoga poses just to stretch ourselves out from all that exercising and um, kicking. So what we'll do is we're gonna kind of, we're gonna do a uh, doll pose. 
So what that is, is you're just gonna bend over and kind of shake it all out. So you're just kind of let your arms hang, cut your toes, shake it out. And just kind of do that a little bit. Um, and that gets all your muscles moving. All right, and then you can do the tree pose, which is you can be a tree and you can stand like this and put your arms all the way to the sky. Put your arms all the way to the sky. Good job. All right. All right, and then, all right, we're gonna do the Young Athlete song and that'll kind of wrap it up, okay? Let's do it. All right, so what we're gonna do is, young athletes, young athletes, we are strong, running and jumping all day long. Young athletes, young athletes, we are strong. Running, jumping all day long. Do you want to do it with me? Yeah. Do you want to try it with me? Running, jumping all day long. Good job. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. Do you have any other questions? No. No? Stay mm long. -mm. Good job. That was awesome. Oh, my goodness. So fun. Yeah. No. No. All right. I think that is it that I have for you all today. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just leave them in the comments and we'll get back to them okay thank you right. guys see you next time see you next time for you all today uh, mm -hmm. if you have any questions